Praised be Jesus and Mary. It might go unnoticed, but it's really thanks to the men who carried the paralytic on a stretcher and then who climbed the house, who got up on the roof and opened up the tiles and lowered him through the roof in front of Jesus. It's really thanks to these men that this paralytic was able to have his sins forgiven and then his health restored by our Lord. That's the way it is in the church. We're not saved alone, but we need the help of others who with their faith and with their works and with their sacrifices help us to approach the Lord and to be forgiven by him, to be healed by him. And we, in our turn, have to help others in the same way. These people were not at the center of the story, these stretcher bearers, yet they're key players. They're silent, hidden, sacrifice, and efforts. Now we're closing the the year 2016, and 2017 is coming up, which is the Fatima Centennial, 100th anniversary of the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, and Our Lady said precisely that. Pray very much. Make sacrifices for sinners. Many souls go to hell because there is no one willing to offer sacrifices for them. It's good to call this to mind ahead of time and make preparations, make resolutions for this commemoration of Our Lady's apparitions. To pray and offer sacrifices for sinners. The best prayer, the rosary, because it's the one that Our Lady asked us to pray, and the best sacrifice is the one that God, the ones that God sends us. Whatever it may be, the, whether the persons that uh, aggravate us, the situations, that make us suffer, the contradictions that humble us, the illnesses that we have to endure, whatever it might be, the sacrifices our Lord sends us. Let's examine ourselves to make sure that we don't waste, waste these opportunities for sacrifice. Because let's remember, our own conversion, the fact, that our own, the fact that we were able to approach the Lord is not due to ourselves, we don't owe it to ourselves, but to the sacrifices of some hidden souls in the church somebody who prayed for us and who sacrificed for us, even if we don't know them and they don't know us. And in just the same way, other unknown members of the church are waiting for us to pray and sacrifice for them when we can't be indifferent to them. Whether they know it or not, they're waiting for it. So let's be like the stretcher bearers in silence, in a hidden way, in a way that maybe won't go, won't be commemorated and will go unnoticed, let's pray and sacrifice ourselves for sinners that like that paralytic of the gospel, they might approach the Lord, be forgiven and healed. Praised be Jesus and Mary.